It's 10.06 in Southern Nevada, and time for the Dr. Dahlia Show. Sassy, sexy, stimulating medical talk radio. Any advice that Dr. Dahlia Wax gives should not be substituted for a visit with an actual medical provider. You've got questions, feel free to call us now on the 702 area code, 257-KDWN, 257-5396. And now, the lovely. Dr. Dahlia Wax. Good morning. Welcome, everybody. I am Dr. Dahlia Wax, and you are listening to the Dr. Dahlia Show. Today's medical headline, masturbation may be linked to cancer. Uh, they're going to be taking this away from us, guys. Yep. Your cancer risk may be linked to how often you masturbate. We're going to be talking about this story. We're also going to be talking about how a virus has been isolated that may cause obesity. Thank God. I thought it was all the crap I was eating. I knew I caught something this winter. <laughs> now, we're going to dive into this as well as figure out who's going to win the Super Bowl. But, you know, for those of you who don't know me or haven't listened to my previous shows, I'm Dr. Dahlia Wax. I'm a board-certified family doc in town. I have two clinics. I've been been practicing here for over a decade and I absolutely love what I do. I love it so much that I even have to talk about what I do on my off hours. What I'm here for is to answer any of your medical questions. I want to know about your cholesterol level. I want to hear about your diabetes. Tell me what your blood pressure has been doing. Your insurance issues. I want to know about that. Relationships. Do you got something growing in your armpit? I want to know about it. I want to hear about the fight you had with your daughter. Is your husband driving you crazy? Is your wife not having sex with you? Is your health insurance not covering jack crap? Would you listen more intently to your doctor if she were sexy? We tackle all of these issues on my show with no medical jargon. I don't like those medical terms, those big terms. I can't even pronounce half of them. But my purpose here is to make sure that you understand what is going on with your body and life because then the more proactive with your health you'll be. All right? So I want to hear your medical questions. Call us at 257-KDON or 257-5396. Here we go. First in the news, masturbation could increase one's risk of cancer. The type of cancer it could increase is prostate cancer. Okay, I know ladies now are probably breathing a sign of relief, but this is some serious stuff. A team of researchers at England's University of Nottingham looked at whether men with more intense sex drives were at higher risk of prostate cancer. So what they did is they took about 1,000 men, asked them about their sexual histories, and they found that half the men got prostate cancer by age 60 and the other half didn't. And they found that the men who masturbated pretty frequently between their 20s and 30s had an increased risk of prostate cancer. But get this, the men who uh, masturbated more frequently older than 50 decrease their prostate cancer risk. So there's some good news and bad news here. If you masturbated more in your younger years, you're going to be at risk of prostate cancer. Yet if you masturbate more in your older years, you actually had a 70% lower risk of prostate cancer. Now, this is the only thing I don't get with this study. Sexual intercourse didn't affect um, the cancer risk. So I, I really don't know. I really don't know the difference here between masturbating and sexual intercourse. Maybe masturbating is a little bit more vigorous. I don't know. <laughs> well, but wait, wait, wait. Dr. Dahlia, now let me, let me just interrupt you. How, how does your prostate know what activity is taking place <laughs> to discern whether... Uh, Jamie, I don't know. I can't answer that. Okay. But li listen, you know, I, I know what everyone's probably asking is how often is frequent masturbating? Well, for men in their 20s, frequent masturbation was two to seven times a week. Now, now that's kind of a big range. All right? Now, for us older men here, us older men, I should say, for older men, I know I kind of sound like a man, but I I, uh, I just got kind of one of those low, deep, sexy voices. I'm sorry. You're definitely but, not a man. Th th for men um, in their 50s, um, frequent masturbation was one or more times per week. Now, now, I know there's probably a bunch of you men right now between 30 and 49 years of age standing there going, well, what the hell do I do? All right, the Dr. Diane News team is going to be working on this 24-7. Remember, this is only one study. This does not mean that this is the end all to masturbation for all of us, okay? People in their 20s and 30s, I don't want you getting scared. People 30 to 49, all I'm going to say right now is just kind of hold tight. We got the Super Bowl this week. So I'm sure you can find something else to do. But, you know, you, you men over 50, um, you know, looks like you could get busy whenever you want. Just please, if you don't mind, just wait till after the show. All right. Now, what I like to do on the Dr. Dahlia show is, well, first, I like to take medical questions. So call me at 257-KDON or 257-5396. But I like to have a medical question of the day. Let's see what your medical knowledge is. Now, today's medical question of the day is sponsored by Grape Street Cafe. Grape Street Cafe has given us a $75 gift certificate. That's pretty good for lunch dinner, wine, anything you want. Located at 7501 West Lake Mead in the Summer Hill Shopping Center on Lake Mead in Buffalo. Grape Street Cafe specializes in Mediterranean, California Bistro, uh, 
wines, and their food is just fabulous. So again, we have a $75 gift certificate for the person who answers the following correctly. All right, here we go. No cheating. Who lives longer, married or single men? All right, do married men or single men live longer? All right, our phone lines are open, 257-KDWN or 257-5396. All right, while we wait, let's go into more medical news. All right, we got Super Bowl Sunday this weekend. Historic for not only the game and its festivities, but the fact that millions of Americans are going to be eating like absolute crap. We got chips, soda, beer, pizza, hot wings. I mean, we are just going to be loading ourselves with calories. Um, I love Super Bowl Sunday, so I'm going to be eating just as crappy as any of you. But get ready. Next week, we are really going to be hitting the gym, and I'm going to be talking about how to lose some weight. Now, patients all the time go, Dr. Dahlia, um, who's going to win the Super Bowl? Well, you know, I love watching football. I by no means I'm an expert, so I know that the Steelers are going to be donning their white uniforms, and the Cardinals are going to be in their sexy, fiery red uniforms, and you know, in, in, in medical terms and scientific terms, red is a much stronger color than white. You know, you want your blood oxygenated. It's more red. You'd rather your heart be red than purple. So, you know, I, based on that, I was going for the Cardinals, but, but I noticed my patients, you know, and my listeners really weren't that satisfied, so I took it upon myself to look at the NFL injury list. And what we'll do is we'll take a look at the injuries on both sides of the teams and see who may be more at a disadvantage. All right. So, you know, we're looking over here at the Steelers, and we got Heinz Ward with a knee injury, Bailey with a hamstring injury, Moore with an ankle injury. It looks like Lawrence Timmons had some sort of an undisclosed illness. I don't know what that is. It could be chronic fatigue. It could be chicken pox. And nobody told us. So it's kind of hard to determine based on, you know, the medical status um, how the Steelers are going to do. And then over here with the Cardinals, we got 